Dear civil engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedatullah with another new video. This is a SAP 2000 version 20. Okay, as we have started modeling a structure, so in this lecture, I will just model our structure and all of our previous lecture, I have just shown you that how we'll create grid line, how we'll define materials, how we'll um, uh, here uh, actually also have shown show that how will actually uh, assign earthquake load how will assign wind load as per different code by using excel sheet and also have told you that i will provide you that excel sheet absolutely uh, accessible if you contact me through mail okay so here i'll i'm just opening our previous model okay so that is a uh, model with what we are working so here is our model right here is our model now we'll work with that okay so to work with that what do we have to do actually first time i'll just come here exit plane so here actually this is our first plane you are seeing that that side so here we have to work with it right so first time actually uh, in ETAPS they have a good way to draw beam column everything quickly but in I mean here that is not so easy to draw that right so what I'll do actually we'll just come here first of all we'll draw our beam uh, columns okay so here I'll draw our column so from here I will just select first of all first uh, corner I will select these types of column 12 into 15 so from here to here then uh, I will draw till that point okay then escape again I will just come here uh, that is okay so from that point to that point that point to that point right after that again so um here i have provided column here actually this is our um i mean the base and here this is our ground floor and with respect to that floor we'll just replicate our other floor right so uh, if i see our plan so here we'll provide a uh, column here on here here and last here on okay so uh, here also I'll provide a column. I'm just going there. Okay. So here I'll just actually we can use that um, draw quick draw frame or cable. Okay. So we can use that option. Okay. So, uh, to draw quickly. So simply after that I'll just if we click on that column, then it will automatically draw. So here we have draw our column perfectly after that okay after that we have to go for our next step right so here you are seeing that everything is okay for that now we need a column here here okay here and here and also we need column here not that that point in that I mean in that joint and in that joint I mean in the beam and that beam joint and here we have to provide a column right so I'll just go and we can I'll just go here here and if you see here actually they have one two three three line right they have three line so we have to understand first about that three line so here if we come our that beam okay distance of that beam and that beam beam level that are not same this is away 11 uh, feet away and this is 10 feet 7 uh, inch away right so now uh, here we'll provide a 
uh, I mean here we'll provide a columns right so for that I'll just go here and again I'll go YZ right I'll just go YZ and from YZ we can click here go up list so here this is our first section and um, if I take mouse here you can see that that plane right you can you are seeing that plane here okay so first of all when when we are in xz plane then here I mean uh, in that grid line I will just draw a column here only so here and here just see here here we'll draw a column right and after that we'll draw column for that line okay uh, for that place and that place I mean in next level so I'll just simply click, click here I'll just so this is the line and this is 11 feet away okay this is line from 11 feet away right and if I just go down little bit and here here uh, I just have to see about that is it okay or not yeah is it okay and in that line we have to draw our another column so for that I'll just go here and here that is 11 feet away and where for that two line we have to draw column so I'll just uh, simply I'll click here draw quick column and here 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 and here so it's done right after that you know next step I mean uh, again I'll just click here move up list up list and uh, for that I mean in that place we will draw column here and here right it's done so if I just come here we're seeing that our uh, we have draw column in that line also as per our plan and finally we'll go I'll just select and finally we'll go our that uh, line 5 and in 5 line I mean in the number of line 5 here we, we have to provide here one column and here one column and uh, for the last one we'll provide here three columns right so when we are here then I'll again select that option and from here I'll just select that one and I'll draw column and I'll again go up and this is the final here okay so I think um, it's okay right now I'll just close that I'll just close this and if here if we see uh, so we can uh, click here to see the extrude mode here sorry uh, sometime ago I have just clicked there and okay. so we have drawer all columns here as we are seeing so if we go in yz line 0 then little bit above so this is the plane and now in our first plane I mean 6 feet away we have to draw grade beam right so I'll just close that and uh, I'll just make it little bit big so that we can draw that perfectly now what we'll do actually we'll take 
that option draw quick beam or frame so from here we'll select beam for a great beam i'll just select that option 10 into 15 for first time and if need we'll change that so as per uh, that line so here we'll draw a beam from uh, i mean from that up to i'm mean, starting to end till that point i'll just close that and i'll start from there so here to here and here Th that is est sorry uh, that is will not will use that option actually okay so b b uh, 10 uh, b 10 into 15 so that option to that option here in that way we just go for b then okay let's see here here we have draw our beam and it's showing right actually for a great beam i'll just delete that because in in our bottom floor they have no extension requirement so after that i'll go for here okay and here we're saying that we have to draw that great beam for i mean uh, our inner first I mean second grid line right then I'll just go here then draw so I'll select that on to that on I'll just skip and uh, again we have to draw for that on to that on then I'll skip then we have to draw for that middle on that middle on to end okay then skip so it's done actually and after that we'll draw beam here right we'll draw beam here again so from that point to that point skip and from here here and here so i hope it's okay all right uh, it's okay When it's done, now we'll draw our that uh, perpendicular. I mean, in grid A, B, C direction according to grid A, B, C direction. So here they are a straight line. So no problem with that. We'll simply draw our beam. So I'll just select that option here, here, and directly here, and then I will escape again here, here, here to here then skip again here and that here and here to here to here and skip after that here next one carefully do that and here skip again and that is b10 okay here here and here right so we have draw our we have drawn our beam like great beam perfectly and we can see here right we can see here and uh, it's okay also so i'll just make it a little bit large so that you can understand perfectly so just see here this is your great beam line so when it's okay and you know great beam uh, i mean the in the level of great beam they have no beam actually i mean they have no slab actually so we'll go our next floor right we'll go our next floor and uh, one thing i'll just do i'll just replicate our that beam for upper floor okay so here i'll just select all that beam otherwise i can uh, skip and i can just go here select then select then from here we can go uh, properties okay then here frame section and from here which section will select b 10 15 then select 
just see here we have selected perfectly then I'll just close when it's done now again I'll just go here edit then replicate and we'll replicate in I mean really linearly and from here uh, that will be in x direction right and what will be the distance actually that is 10 feet right and what will the number the number will be 1 right then uh, take your mouse here and then apply just see here it's a replicated perfectly and I'll just close that and we'll extend our the required beam so for that I'll just go here in that level and I'll just extend our beam where required so here in that side we have to extend our beam here here to here and also you have to extend here and here right so I'll just close that and I'll select that option draw quick beam so by using that option that is okay now simply I'll just select here select here and here and also in that side here and here right so it's done so you are seeing that we have done that perfectly now we'll go to design our I mean now we'll go for our slab so for that they have many option okay so I'll just go with that option draw first of all I'll go with that option draw rectangular area so I'll just select that on then slab 5 inch slab right and from here I'll take that option to that option sorry here it's okay now from uh, that option to that option or like that and click then from here and simply sorry escape then take that option from that point to that point again from uh, that point to that point from that point to sorry I've done a mistake here I'll just select that and delete that okay and here I'll just we have to do that carefully from that point to that point after that again from that point to that point okay and here from that point to that point again from So here, and if I close that, and if I again select that, and if we go for extrude mode and apply, so then it's okay, right? So I just close that here. Okay, now we'll draw a draw for our balcony. I mean for extended part of our structure. So for that, similarly. I'll just draw that option draw uh, sorry here I will use that option or that option that's okay so when it's done now from that point to that point click again from that point to that point okay and again from that point to from that point so when done then skip and if we move that so we can see here perfectly why we have done what and we have draw uh, slab beam column and you know next lecture I'll just show that how we'll draw our stair here and after that finally we'll replicate that right so thank you and i hope you have understood that how we'll work with that perfectly 
and just one thing I want to see here is it okay or not I'll just simply select both and I'll delete and I'll redraw to confirm that it's okay because uh, they have two grid line that are very close so I'll select that point to that point escape and again I'll select that one and I'll select that point carefully that point to that point this time okay all right so if we if we go in 3d and if we go for extrude mode from here to here then apply so it's okay now so we have done that perfect perfectly and in our next lecture i'll show that how we'll work with our stair and after that we'll finally replicate that after applying load on it so thank you thank you very much stay connected till next video